We have to, not you, but we have to be careful um, about, because we, we are working in the, in the framework of developing the Pakistan national Tibet system. That means we're talking about recognized certification and so on. And uh, so we have to be a little bit, you know, because here we are talking about parallel systems, which generally I like very much. But we have to. Yuta, you get in Smeda. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to get an speak. IMU, and if you and use their into, logo there, yeah. it's yeah, already it's 500,000 companies yeah. who can yeah. be learning uh, uh, about uh, about this system, and will come to you for for the proper human development, you know, yeah. and human resources. Yeah. And that is for us a real problem, a real challenge. Because NAFTGC has the idea, oh, we are the accreditation body for all. <laughs> and on the other hand, yeah, there is the industry, of course, but the idea how to combine their own power with the competency yeah. and the knowledge inside and all this of the industry side, that is still missing. And therefore, I think when we create some examples showing that works without you, NAFTA GC, then it's scared. It's a nice shot. That's why they're using the, the owner is using the UK accreditation. They're not using driving that. license to be mm. on the road. Yeah. Yeah. In Germany, you cannot go on. I mean, yeah. this system would not work with I your driving license. Yeah. Driver license. So this is Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> officially or unofficially? I mean, of, uh, can See, you officially drive without having a driving look, license? They can have two driver's licenses. Yeah. Right? One for job. Yeah. and one for actually driving. So my driver's license will get guarantee you a job because my driver's license assures... Okay, and the other driving license you buy in order to be on the road. Yeah, yeah. it's also right, yeah. It's also right. Yeah. That's a great idea. It's, it's a good idea. It's a damn good idea. Yeah. So what's next step? What do you want to um, Can I ask another thing? Because um, I, I told you very briefly about this FIT, FIT uh, this innovation creation. The idea is also to identify lessons learned, to publicize them and so on. And we have a great interest in finding out new models. Do they work? Are they, are they really better than others? So we have a great emphasis on monitoring and research, basically, accompanying research to see how things, what the impact is of things and other work. Okay. Is, um, uh, I, uh, this is probably not a deal, but would you? Would there be an area where we would you would be interested as well? Are we accompanying a few things? Sure, I would like to see that what is my what I'm doing is working or not. Exactly, exactly, and that would be because this is. I mean, this is a revolution in the training environment if, if this is fully fleshed. Mm. Yeah. Can you imagine how how? The training environment looks in 10 years from now, uh, but uh, it would be very good actually to early do some studies, some proper studies on this, and really see how doing some some yeah. some, some, some tracer studies on people. Who have Go ahead. Been, um, how can I do anything? I that is an interest. But what we would have, and sure. we would probably like to cooperate with you because that is dramatically interesting. Great. I mean, you, you probably should have PhD students in Europe lining up to use such an example to do their PhD research. Sure. You you find the person, send them to us, we will, we will put them here, they can do whatever, they can ask anything they want because I don't believe in hiding anything. So, yeah, yeah. since I don't believe it, they can just do whatever kind of auditing questions, whatever, yeah, yeah. do what they want to, to see if they can actually come. And another thing which you can help us with is getting more white people in this country. Getting more? More white people in this country, more Caucasian, more white skin like yourself here. Yeah. Because we need to blend, we need to... Mu this country is facing a huge brain drain. Mm -hmm. Every single person who graduates from a university, if you ask him, what do you want to do? I want to leave the country. Yeah. They don't want to live here. Mm -hmm. Why don't they want to live here? Because they don't see any opportunities. The mindset is totally blind. They can't see anything, right? So. And then the visa issues don't let them go anywhere. So they end up in Barcelona. There are 40,000 illegal Pakistanis living just in Barcelona alone. I, w I made a documentary on them. And they were crying. They were requesting, please don't come to Europe. Please, there is nothing here left. There is no jobs. You can't do anything here. Please don't sell your land. Don't come here. I met five people who sold their land, their cars. Yeah, for for just two, just because it's paid twenty thousand dollars just 
bribe to get the visa and they go there. Yeah. And that bribery is allowing uh, the embassies are fueled by this. Uh, I don't know how much you understand that, but a lot of visas are issued that way. And um, I met people who actually walked from here to Greece and to to Spain, walked all the way. A lot of things. And he walked two times. I went. No, I went. Who walked two times to all the way? You know, he took a bus, then he dropped out, skipped. Um, I have spent time in detention center myself in Mexico for two weeks because of my visa issues. Uh, I had two visas. He said, well, how can you have two visas? And my visa, my life is full of visa issues. And um, that's, that's another story. But my point here is that if we can get more people from Greece, from Italy, from other parts of the world to come and work here, um, like for example, when she is here with us, she drives the car. We're sitting in the back. So we have like a white driver and everybody else is like, what's going on? How can you have a white person driving? So, and, and, and everybody's like just bizarre to see that. And you, if, if you understand the, the psychology of people over here, they res we respect white people more than we respect our own people, always, right? So, so now that helps us, that she gives us a huge leverage. So for example, uh, I have another, uh, uh, yeah, she's the door opener. So whenever, whoever doesn't want to meet us, we set up an appointment for her. She goes in, she does her work, then we come in and play the game. So we don't have to bribe anyone this way. And I don't want to bribe anyone. So this is another way of leveraging, you know, nationalities or whatever it takes. So, so for example, I was awarded uh, an award in Finland last year because just because I was Pakistan not basically because I had I created something really good but I, I went into the list uh, a short listed because you know another guy was from Kenya another guy was from Pakistan you know so, uh, Tanzania and I was a guy from Pakistan so I got short listed and you know we got the award um, but you know leverage plays a lot of role in, in, in your country in our country everywhere there is leverage to everything so if we can get more white people in, because when I tell to people in Pakistan, I'm going to open 10,000 coffee shops, he looks at my face as if he's gone, I'm some kind of alien who just landed. Because he cannot imagine that there are 45,000 McDonald's in the world. Because most of the people who are living here now have not traveled. These boys, this he has, but he has not, he's been to Dubai for 10 days. Now how much world has he seen in 10 days? So he can't imagine that there is a possibility that there are a possibility of 45,000 McDonald's in the world, so there is a possibility of 10,000 cafe coffee shops in Pakistan alone. He can't imagine that. At the airport here. Well, our budget is hundred dollars. Remember, we can't do that. This, this, I would revamp this one first. Uh, yeah, but then it's difficult to come in and okay. Yeah, but if this was marketed properly, this would be full right now with high expensive people because this is a very very nice area. You have ample parking, it's the middle of town, you have a whole city on that side and you have a whole city on this side. So, uh, it's, it's, but they're not, they're not looking at that. See, the, the people who can think, I have left the country and I was forced to live here. If I was had the visa, I would be gone also. So, bottom line, he's stuck because his mother, his parents live in the US. He lives here, he can't go. He's stuck. Most people who are here are stuck. Otherwise, no, they would just leave. Then, then <laughs> so we need people for the different mindset who can come in and actually ignite fire in people who can show that, look, you can do it also. Because the confidence level of the people left behind here is just totally gone. There's no confidence left. Yeah, but, but I mean, that's something you're pretending think about. that the problem of the country is actually the mindsets of people. I'm not pretending. Well, yeah, but, but not alone. I mean, I mean, there is a reason why people are leaving. I think okay. there are a lot of people who love to stay here, not being just a foreigner. So why do you think they're leaving? Because it's not so easy to, to, to set up a business here. There's bureaucracy, there's corruption. So please don't hate this, but, um, but there, are, there are a lot of structural reasons. But there are bureaucracies and there are problems everywhere in the world. It's just different Well, but, but probably setting up a business and maintaining a business and having business success in the U.S. is much easier or in Germany than it is here because nobody... Germany, I don't think so, but yes, U.S. is easier, but so is here. Go online, go to Rehan Training, click on it's a 30 minutes course, how to start a business in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Do it. Let's see how it works. Yeah, and there could be more schools. 
So well, I, I would rather look at the glass half full. So, half so you have started already with 10 million, no? That, that That's is, the goal. That is, it's, it's already on. You have already some modules or some... Yeah, yeah. yeah we have already. So how, how many do we have already? We have on ground none. We are doing our research right now. Ah, okay, okay. You haven't put it on the... We, we are not having any... No, for that we have, but we are going to set up our own million businesses. You will be able to see my own shops mm -hmm. around yes, the country. That, my uh, own. that means yes. you will create one million? Yes. I saw this, I saw others mm. were, were, were yes. created. Yes, the 10% I own, the 90% they own. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the franchising yeah, model. Yeah. But they, they, I own the brand, I own the company. Mm. Who is this? And at the same time, anybody else, if they want, they can create their own brand also. We're what giving them the knowledge for? we have charged. We're not charging anything for that. So the idea is to make that knowledge available and make it happen. To believe it, you have to see it. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we're creating our own also. So that, look, we can do it, so can you. That hasn't started yet. We don't have any um, success stories. You don't have any success stories to show. Here is Mr. Ali Khan, who is now proud owner of a... I think we should have, but we haven't documented those. The, the, Other people who have we have we hired people to you know make it be on for example T boys mm -hmm. we have at least five of those in house which we convert into business man. we didn't do anything we just give them computers give them stuff they learn they learn all that has been documented that's available but yes if you say where are the hundred businesses you can't see them right now. Give me a year and a half, give me two years, we will start seeing it. By, by the way, another um, sort of opportunity or huge need we discussed in other circles was um, a decentralized, particularly in the rural areas, decentralized but franchise, but really quality assured. Franchise means quality assured as well. Uh, medical services, uh, basic medical services and a lot pharmaceutical of people are services. Mm -hmm. Two of the people I know are coming with 10,000 shops like that where people can go in and uh, uh, there is a computer, there is a video camera, that there is a call center connected to it, they can actually you know, connect uh, 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 a blood pressure machine, the data goes back to Karachi and they can monitor it and they can advise it, it is given this medicine and that's done. That's also happening. A lot of things are happening. Um, that See is the basic. Already, this type that, of that is also happening. I can introduce you to those people also. A lot of things are happening. Uh, but as I was telling her, if we don't do anything in 10 years, majority of this country will not be poor, will not be uneducated, and will, there will be no corruption. That's what I believe. So, uh, if you could have seen, only see what I can see right now, then you would also believe. But you, you need to use more technology in order to see that. How technology is empowering everybody is what is changing everything, fueling everything. Um, you know. We, we have people, uh, his brother, his brother alone makes a thousand and a half dollars a month sitting at home in his, uh, you know, sleeping suit all day long. He, he's grown beard and long hair working in the U.S. online. That's just one guy I know of personally. But then there are around, the elance.com claims there are 20,000 children, kids in Pakistan who are doing that. What making money you, online. What would you think about the idea <coughs> I once heard about it um, to, to <coughs> people for online 
Quran coaching. But that's for, huge now. It's huge now. A lot of people are doing that now, which is great because now they're getting exposed, vice versa. Not just that the, the teacher is teaching Quran to the boy there, but the boy is also teaching something back to the child. Because I remember my teacher, when he used to come to my home to teach me Quran, we were teaching him stuff. Because it's a two-way communication, it's not like tacit communication. So it's vice versa. So that boy is sitting or the girl sitting in the, in the U.S., this guy is also asking about the U.S. or Germany or in Australia, you know, he's also getting his head opened up so the head opening up is a big challenge and most people who have had their head cracked up they have left the country and people who are left here are most people who are taking advantage of many other people most of them uh, you know and there are then the great guys like Siddiq Saab which you met and Adhan Azhar who can leave I can leave easily I have a house in four different countries I can easily I, I'm a resident in three countries right now I could easily leave if I wanted to but I, now I have given up on leaving, I said, okay, screw everything, let's fix this place up, you know, God is sending a message, oh, every time I've been sent back to Pakistan, there's some reason, so let's, let's do something about it, so, we'll do something about it. So what's the next step? Any next step for me, from you guys, from GIG? Well, I, I, sorry, <laughs> I mean, in general, we should, we, we should immediately as soon as we, we know which next curricula we are developing and have to develop, we should immediately get in touch with you and seek your help. And we will give you all, all and, and input we can, we can deliver and all we, we, we ask for. But that would be just lovely. I mean, and there we should do a, re, a very serious um, analysis, impact analysis as well, looking at, 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 at people, how, how they perform with a control group of people not using those media and really see how what impact that has if we have a backup of all these electronic media. So what do we do for NAFTAC? Hmm? Because for NAFTAC mm -hmm. uh, and TTC, mm -hmm. they want to take all our what we have done and mm -hmm. put it on their own website, which I'm ready to do anyways. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I don't know what's stopping them to do that. Mm -hmm. And then if they have 2,000 institutions, if they can send out a circular or do a yeah. press release or do a conference or do a, some kind of expose, because all I'm interested in is marketing right now, because content has been done, it is being done, it will be done. But it has to be, people have to know about it also. If they don't know about it, it's useless. Uh, so NAFTEC, if they could, if they could, huh? We, we, we are having a TVET reform webpage, not program, a TVET reform webpage where NAFTEC is also having space or whatever. We definitely put it on that one. That's certainly no, what I'm saying. You is, have Facebook. No, I have. Marketing. Well, unfortunately, the people who are my customers for this market are not on Facebook. And, in, and people like you are not on Facebook. So there's a huge, there's a, there's only 7 million people on Facebook right now in Pakistan, mm -hmm. out of the 800 million in the world. So Pakistan what is less is, uh, than a percent. Uh, Susanna just talked about uh, your access to uh, mass media like TV and radio. That would be the right media, isn't it? Right. So as a small company with a budget of $6,000 a month, how much do you think we can get exposed to mass media and others? There is, if Snapchat goes out and does a, takes our content in return, what we would like is for them to do at least tell their own employees. They have over 50,000 employees or people who are associated to them. If those people start using it, then the change happens because if I'm creating content and the institutions are not using it, what's the point of you creating the content? if nobody's going to use it. Uh, my voice is still very small. Even if I use, I mean, Khan Academy was awarded by Google and Bill Gates. Six, you know, total six million dollars was received by them. Still, you know, most people in this country don't know about it. Uh, and including the teachers. We were just discussing how is TV functioning here in this country. Um, if there is social content, and if this is supported, for instance, by a state agency like NAFTEC, NAFTTC, would we have uh, free access to, 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 to state TV and state I mean, radio or would not? Only NAFTEC would know. I don't know, their, I don't know what their muscle is. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they can do for us right now. I just met them for two hours. Uh, I don't. I. I think yeah, that will be our job. <laughs> yeah. So they, step step one. What I'm looking forward to is creating a portal for them, and then they calling in majority of the heads of that 
their because their system is already most people in Naftec framework are not online. They're not Facebook Absolutely. users. They're not email users, active email users. Yeah. Um, so in order for them, you know, they need to create some kind of press hype, uh, do a press conference, do a conference, do something, get some prime minister or somebody involved in it. Get let them take all the mileage out of it, but at least let the masses know that this has been done. Now you go to the nearest internet cafe, you start using it. This is the website, nav.training.com, giztraining.com, whatever the website might be. Start using it. That's all I'm interested in. I'm not interested in, you know, go put my name in there. I don't really care about it. My interest is that this waiter should know that he can go on this website and get information. That's my interest. And that cannot happen by me alone. Even if I go and speak Absolutely. every week on a te television program, I'm a one human being. Um, there are hundreds of paid employees of NAFTA who are paid to do this. Uh, why am I doing all that? I'm, I'm doing what I can already. I'm doing it at my best, uh, to my knowledge. And as I said, you know, when you ask what can you do, the best thing is you can mentor us. You can tell us, take advantage of this, take advantage of this, take advantage of this. Because you have seen the world in a different, you know, glasses altogether. I have not seen that world. I only yesterday somebody was asking me, would you like to take help from the government of Pakistan? I said, well, best important help I need from government of Pakistan is don't bother me. Just let me do what I'm doing. If they come up and uh, say you're, what you're doing is against the law, or whatever, and I'll fly off. And then what happens? So that's something which uh, nobody wants to be bothered right now. You know, let me complete. I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking. You can see everything what I'm doing publicly. Keep an eye on me. Keep a tab on me. Don't let me do anything wrong. Don't let me break any law. But don't bother me from, you know, to stop doing this. You will create this. and That's all. Now I'm also starting my camera. <laughs> Extremely old fashioned for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we all have cameras. <laughs> <laughs> no, 